Hello everyone, so it's been a while since I've actually done a video so I thought it was time that I should do one. Um, I actually had to work on this a couple of weeks because I did not have time to do it all in one go. So first of all what I did was I just created a PowerPoint presentation. So as you can see here I've got, um, let me just start with the questions because they're the easiest. So all I did was I just chose a design from the PowerPoint designs and I put in there um, a question with four options. So they're all, basically they're all multiple choice questions and the difference is that they get progressively harder. So as you go towards the end, they get a little bit harder. Um, and I think I changed the design at the end, but anyway, that doesn't matter. So then what I had to do was get a picture. So I just went on Google, found a picture of a lovely beach, you know, a bit of an escapism <laughs> in, um, you know, we're all in lockdown right now, so it's a nice little picture of a beach. And then all I did was I added this picture of the girl with the horse, um, and I think if you watch one of my other videos uh, on iMovies, I show you how to remove the background. I'll put the link um, around here somewhere. Maybe it'll be around there. Um, so you can have a look how I remove the background. But anyway, so I got this girl on there just because I needed some additional elements. And then I incorporated this basket, picnic basket, from just from over here, insert the icon. So if you wanted, you could actually create a picture with all of these icons. Just, you know, find them and just stick them on. Maybe you want to have a, a scene with a zoo. So, you know, you could have this kind of thing going on. So it's up to you. Anyway, once you've got that sorted, and then you need to find the clues. So what I did for my students, because they are all EAL students, was I just made three simple groups and three simple clues. So the first group is just super easy. It tells them exactly where to go to find the clue. The next one is a little bit harder. Um, you know, it just gives them a little bit of thinking time as well. And then the third one is a lot more harder. Um, and I've used words like lass and mare and canopy because I know that these students that are going to do this one, sorry, I'm just going to control Z that back. Um, the students that do this um, set are like quite, you know, good at English. So I just want to stretch them a little bit more. Um, and then I go back to here, so I'm on this page which is the clues, and then on here, what I had to do was I had to link, so I had to create a link, so when I click on the sun you can see this box appear, so how I got that to appear was just go to shapes, and I chose a box like this, let me just do that again, I think I have to be not on something, let me try that again, um, and then here we are, so I've got this uh, box now. And then what I wanted to do was I wanted this box to link to something. So I go to insert, and then I go to link. And then from here, I want it to link to somewhere in this document. So then I go to the slide titles, and then I choose which page I want it to link to. So, you know, the sun was the first one, so I just want that to link to page five and then that's okay. So once I've done that, now this shape is like a hyperlink within my document. So I'll just play that just to show you what I mean. Uh, when you put your icon on it, in a when it's in presentation mode, it will change to a hand. So you can click the hand and it will take you to this page. Now to go back, I'm going to click this section here which says back to the clues. And then I see my next clue is a bolt. So then I'll go to the picture again. So if I uh, click on the boat, for example, it will take me to a different question. This will be the next question. Um, so I'll go back to the clues now. Um, and then I see the next one is the birds and so on. And then the same with group two. But you can see here that I've labeled, this is the teacher's copy. So I've labeled here which slide um, each clue goes to so that at the end I can actually create a little answer um, answer key. So if I go to the picture from here, now you'll see that there's this uh, blue box here, which we don't want. So I'm just going to show you how to get rid of the blue box. 
Okay, so there was this box here. So all I did with the boxes, so basically all of these clues, these boxes here that you can see started out the same as this one. So all I had to do with that one was um, right click and format the shape. I might have to just move this to the side here. And then I make the transparency 100%. And you can see that even though it's transparent, there's a line there, so you need to get rid of the line and then you'll see that it literally disappears but that is still hyperlinked to wherever I hyperlinked it to um, just like the hyperlink of the sun, the face of the girl, the shoes, anything like that so that's pretty much all I had to do um, these other little um, text box here I put a text box on each page that said go back to the clues um, because obviously once they're on this page uh, which is the picture, they need to then navigate back to the clue page. So obviously that one takes them back to the clues. And then this one here that says go to the picture takes them back to the picture. So um, the picture one, I put it on this, which was no questions here. That one is literally if they if they click somewhere where there's no hand shape, um, then it just tells them that there's no question there. So they just try again. Um, and again, you can just see that I've just linked on each page um, something that says go back to the clues. So the same way, I just inserted a text box. So I'll just show you how to do that quickly. So let me just insert one over here somewhere. Okay, so I'll just try Adams. And then you just highlight that, insert, oops, rid of it. Uh, put the link in and then make this go to the clues that one okay and then okay now that is hyperlink hyperlinked now the good thing about PowerPoint is it remembers where it was so if you command C or control C if you're on Windows um, that onto the next page which doesn't have it and then control V or control command C you'll see that it appears exactly in the same place it just saves you a little bit of time um, I did try putting it on the theme of the PowerPoint but then you lose your hyperlink so I didn't do that um, the first page is just a story just letting them know what what's going on the second page now the students version these numbers will be edited out so you can just delete these and then save it I know this one says student version but it's literally the one that I ended up working on and what you can do is then save as a teacher version and put the ABC in there so that you've got your answer key so if the students want to check if they've got the right answers they can then just check with yours so anyway I hope you enjoyed that I know it's a short video um, but hopefully it gave you a bit of an insight into how to make the escape room um, you can do other escape rooms now now this is where it gets quite interesting because the actual escape rooms are full of puzzles so I mean for my students they're, they're you know they they're EAL and I have to teach them I mean you, you saw the questions over here you know words like perpendicular and direction and they've got a lot of memorization so for me it doesn't really make sense to do like make these into more puzzles for them or make them harder um, it kind of defeats the purpose I just wanted them to practice but um, having had a look at different escape rooms around the internet I did see that there was other ways to make these which um, you know might might be better for some of your students because obviously they're probably most of them will not be EAL um, so there was another one that I saw using Google Forms so once I'd made that video on the PowerPoint it actually worked um, as I wanted it to on a computer but it did not work on an iPad so I had to then think outside the box so what I did was I started a presentation on Google so this is a Google Slides presentation and then I went to file and I imported the slides that I'd already um, created so just from here you just select the file um, and you upload the, the file so you can see here and pretty much all of the um, links and everything was preserved so I was able to 
um, literally just insert it in here um, and then just check that it worked so when you press play on this one or present it should work the same way as the other one did so this one goes back to the picture um, you can't see that one that's on the face that goes to that one you can go back to the picture um, the clues are just out of your view so all I did was I imported the same presentation into Google Slides so if you look here there's an option file import slides and then you just drag and drop your uh, presentation or you can select it from your computer um, and then it takes a little while to upload but once it's uploaded it's in here and it preserves your links um, now you can if you want like you've seen the bitmoji craze, craze I'm sure um, you can actually make these yourself on Google Slides but I mean it, it's up to you whatever you find easier to be honest I just found this part a bit harder um, creating the making it transparent so for example if we had a shape say that one there um, so once you've got your shape now you need to click here and click on transparent and then click here and make the lines transparent so now you've got your transparent shape and then you need to just keep on remembering where it was I don't know why I just found it a little bit harder but it's actually up to you I mean whichever one you prefer to be honest I'll just delete that once you press present now all the links should be exactly the same as before sorry um, my screen seems to have lost some of the uh, ability so you can see there the boat click on the boat and I get to this and then I click on this one to go back to the picture click um, on the umbrella and I'll get back to here like that and then again we can go back to the clues which is this one here or we can go back to the picture which is that one there so again just double check that it's all working and when it is um, exit from here when it is you can then press share once you share it then anyone else with the link will be able to view it so you just copy the link and then you um, share it with whoever you want okay so hopefully that was interesting and <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed that now you can make digital escape rooms with Google Forms you can do them in other ways as well you can actually make these um, I've got questions because I wanted them to revise the um, topic waves but I mean you could even put um, you could even put puzzles here um, and then get them to solve the puzzles another idea that I had was um, that for example here um, I know what the answers are going to be for this one. So, for example, this one's going to be A, C, B, D, or whatever. That's what I'll be looking for. But what I could do is I could change the letters on the question to um, represent different letters. So, for example, I could get the answers to spell out words. So, there's six letters. So, anything with six letters, like Newton would do, or, you know, um, I don't know. A color maybe a color you could have maybe an animal so um, they feel like they've cracked a code so you could actually do that okay so um, yeah uh, you can make it as puzzling as hard as easy as you want you can even choose different scenes that are a lot more detailed than this one um, and the other way you can differentiate it is by making the squares smaller so you see for the harder ones I've actually made the squares a bit smaller for the easier ones they're a bit bigger so again um, it just helps you know with the with the lesson um, I'm sure you know how it is you don't want the faster students to finish everything and be waiting around for the others so you just make it a bit more challenging for them so I hope you enjoyed that do let me know in the comments below um, let me know if there's other ideas that you have for escape rooms if there's anything that you found that's a lot easier this is very similar to the um, bitmoji classrooms that you've probably seen hanging around on Facebook and elsewhere nowadays um, which are also really cool so you can use a lot of these um, ideas to make your classroom as well so hope that helped see you next time